I'm making this video today because of this box right here. Uh, this is the PlayStation 3. My husband sold it on eBay. Uh, recently we did a video about decluttering video games and he had chosen seven for sale. Chose to let go of seven gaming systems. He's got five to go. One, two, three, four, five. Five to go, sold two. He has already sold and shipped the Sega Genesis. I think it was 30 bucks that he got for that. And then plus they paid shipping. And then he sold the PlayStation 3 for $117 plus shipping, and that's what's in this box. We had to reuse an Amazon box because the boxes that we got just weren't the right box for it. So we did pay money to get bubble wrap and boxes for shipping, but we ended up reusing an Amazon box for this person. But what I wanted to talk about is that in-between stage. Deciding to declutter being the first step, and then actually removing it from your home being the second step. Right now we are at an in-between stage on quite a number of decluttering uh, projects that we got going on. So let me show you some of the other things that are in flux in that in-between stage of decluttering. So let's walk this way. Okay, I'm just gonna put this down. Remember when we decluttered books? Yeah, they're still here. 179 of them, slowly phasing them out of our home, but in the process of phasing them out in our home, we used this room and the piles got messed up. They were really nice and neat and then we knocked them over, didn't clean them up. So I'm slowly phasing them out one box at a time. I am lugging them to the library for drop off. So I'm gonna do that in this video too. All right, let's get out the door. Okay, so we got the box of books. We're gonna take off to the library drop off and then to the UPS store for dropping this off. Check the description box below for 27 ways that you can declutter books from your home, as well as a free decluttering decision tree that you can download and help guide you through the decision to declutter books. Friends of the library do the gardening. There we go. This is discoverbooks.com. This is number two of the 27 ways that you can declutter books from your home that I have on that blog post. This is discoverbooks.com. I went on their website, found that they have a bin at my local library for drop-off. So they have these drop-off bins all over the place and you can just donate your books and then they collect the books and then they resell them at reasonable prices. And their profits go towards literacy for libraries and school systems. And I am lugging one box of books at a time of the 179 that I chose to donate. Okay, we dropped off the PlayStation 3 at the UPS store, which is very exciting. I pair errands together. So we did the library drop off and then we just dropped off the PS3. So we got a couple more things that we chose to declutter out of the house. I stopped at the UPS store that I have a box for this channel. Um, I keep a mailbox here at this UPS store and someone sent me something to my box, which is very exciting. So let's open it. Thank you, Luann. I just, I don't wanna show you the front of the package because um, it has Luann's name, full name and address. I don't wanna do that. Ooh, let's see. Uh, as acai, I think you say it. Acai, blueberry, dark chocolates. They're chocolate covered blueberries. Yum. And we have uh, scripture scripture for grief oh oh from jelly grace co i love this company grief verse set card oh i can't even tell you how much this means to me luann because this this morning i was having a little bit of trouble my brother died four months ago yesterday and this morning i was having a little bit of trouble with it and i was leaning on the bible this morning and just trying to navigate that emotion here four months out and I had a dream that I was able to text my brother from heaven that he was able to text me a beautiful card that's so nice I can't okay and then a time to grieve meditations for healing after the death of a loved one. Oh, oh, oh and a bookmark and oh 
Luann, I am sorry if there was something that you went through in your life that you needed this book and it helped you and you're sharing it and passing it forward now. I hope it's because you um, are in a better place than you were than at the time you purchased this book. If you purchased it directly for me, thank you one million times. I just like, I'm overwhelmed. I'm gonna read this card. This is someone mommy doesn't know but watches mommy's channel and sent this to me to help me feel better. Isn't that so nice? There's, it's really important to be kind in this world, isn't it, you guys? Yeah. It's been a while since the flowers, casseroles, and gifts. <laughs> isn't that the truth? I'm sorry. I'm still so sorry. Lou Ann. Lou Ann, this is, I just, oh, thank you so much. So, Lou Ann, um, I have your address. I'm going to mail you a thank you card in the mail, but... If you guys send me stuff in the mail, just please make sure I can read your address or you give me an email so that I can let you know that I've received it and say thank you to you. But Luann has sent it in a way that I can see Luann's address here. So I am going to write Luann a thank you note so she knows that I received this. And hopefully she's watching this and saw me open it. Thank you, Luann. It's, that was just so nice and it's, it's truly exactly what I need. It's like a weird time right now four months later like life has moved on and you know I still have pockets of sadness so this was really helpful thank you right guys say thank you I'm in the back <laughs> you are in the back all right we're off to swim class now we're at swim class she's eating a snack my kids my oldest is in the other room and then my five-year-old is in the pool for his lesson today we made it back home. And we're also in the basement. I still have to take all the photographs out of that before donating them. The shadow boxes did not sell on Facebook Marketplace, so I'm going to donate those, or maybe I'll just give them away on Facebook Marketplace. This whole section had about 30 frames, which have been donated. There's three in the back of my car right now, and I'm gonna take those two up with me since I'm already down here. So just a couple, maybe two more rounds here, and this section will have been cleared out. And then I got to do this. And wall hangings was a long time ago, but I don't come down into the basement. So I only grab wall hangings we decided to donate when I'm down here. So, which isn't terribly often. Okay, let's go. Um, and I forgot to grab this bag of clothes that I am donating. These are the clothes that I sorted through when I went through the kids' clothes. These are the clothes that I sorted through and decided to get rid of because I didn't fit my youngest or my oldest anymore. So my boys, so they're gonna be donated. Forgot to grab it on the way out the door. It's by the door, so I try to remember, but it's another one of those in-between decluttering projects that we have going on where we've decided to get rid of it. We haven't quite yet removed it from the house. So I wanted to share with you what it was like to live in our house with that in-between stage. And that it's, it's part of decluttering, that you know, physically removing 179 books from your house takes a minute. <laughs> that you have to lug each box. And that's why I've done two boxes so far. You saw me do the second box today, so I'll do another box when we run errands on another day. And maybe I'll remember to bring the clothes. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of what it's like. I just wanted to be very real about what that looks like. So you see me make these choices, and sometimes I take you along to the donation center with me in a video, and sometimes I just don't go to the donation center on the day that I'm filming. So I make these de decluttering decisions, but then they hang around my house for a couple weeks as I slowly phase them physically from my home. It's like a secondary validation of the, dis of the decision to declutter. I used to use maybe boxes where maybe I'm ready to get rid of it and I'd put it in the maybe box and it would sit there for weeks or months and then I'd get rid of it. Now it just, it's, once I've made the decision, I feel really good about it and the physical act of following through and getting out of the house sometimes is fast and sometimes not fast. Thanks for joining me and sharing part of your day with me here. Here's another video and would love if you subscribe if you haven't already.